Morning, it's the end of March and it's time for our Sunday exercise again. This was originally supposed to be an exercise with the RAF going on training with helicopters and we were supposed to be doing some winching in the downfall but we can take the lowest priority with the RAF so once again this has been cancelled they've obviously got something a bit more serious to do which is fair enough so we're onto our back uh, <laughs> me and Vinny have actually got off quite lightly this time uh, we're both uh, acting as casualties uh, Vinny's going to be the guy who's actually got the injury and I'm going to be kind of his buddy uh, just helping along and observing we're planning on going somewhere up the top of Sandy Hayes which you can kind of see up in the cloud in the background um, there's a crag up there, so we're going to try and get to the bottom of there, make out like we've had some kind of accident from it, and then the team are going to have to drag all the heavy gear up and rescue us. Right, Vinny, do you want to give us an idea of what the scenario is going to be today? Yes, the, uh, it's going to be a fallen climber, and he's suffered uh, a number of injuries. Dislocated shoulder, probable internal injuries, abdominal injuries and uh, a fractured uh, fe femur. So we're expecting the, the, ca the casualty will be unconscious when the team arrives. So we'll expect a quick triage of the casualty, ABC, um, try and identify the, the injuries and treat them, and then quickly package in a way, unfortunately. It's a scenario we would have had a helicopter, but because of RAF commitments, we've not been able to make it. So hopefully it should be uh, quite a quick um, assessment on scene, treat and load and then they're away. Right, we're up at the top now. Um, we're thinking about um, setting ourselves up somewhere at the bottom of that crag. Um, what we've just got to decide is how far kind of up it or into it we're trying to get out. We've chosen our spot. Um, we're somewhere kind of just at the base of this cliff we're looking at. Um, as high up as we can go safely without having to really get any kind of protection into the rock. Um, just give it a look around. It's a lovely view. <laughs> nice drop below us. So the idea is that if Vinny's going to be somewhere around here, then they'll need to somehow get him into a stretcher or somehow get him down this steep ground safely before they can start to, to walk the stretcher off, off on foot. Uh, don't know how they're going to do it yet, but we'll see when they get here. And this is not a thermal blanket, as you can see it's quite small. This is going to be uh, on my chest on the skin. I'm going to do the uh, survey. They should hear some crinkling, which should indicate that there's uh, emphysema, which is uh, a chest condition, possibly caused through uh, the thorax. So they should be looking for this sort of thing and uh, assessing it and treating it. Right, Vinny's just adding a few nice little embellishments. A uh, bit of blood and bruising to go with his broken femur. A bit of uh, blood on his face, whatever. So the idea is he's probably going to pretend to be unconscious. So they are, they're hoping that they'll actually get down to the skin to have a look at this kind of stuff and help them work out what's wrong with him. First ones to arrive, and uh, they're just traversing along towards. Hopefully, they should be with us in about 10 minutes. Mini's all set now. That's he's assumed the position, so we're just waiting for them to arrive, and we'll see how their diagnosis goes. He's fallen off this crag. Okay. What's his name? Vinny. Okay. Hang there. We, we were just, we were just going to climb this and he was, he was having a look, he, he got halfway up Yes. and he just lost it and right. I, I might have stopped him going all the way down but he took a hell of a fall. Okay. Vinny? He, he, Can he you was, hear me? That's fine. Do you want to hold his head Pete? Yep. Hello Vinny. My name's Dave from Mind to Rescue. Can you hear me? Yeah. Simply checking his airway. It's looking clear. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, let's just check it. Check it. Casualty bag on site. Right, thank you. Nice. Something on there. Yeah, okay. 
Okay. So basically, he's got, he's got a surgical container, which is pneumothorax territory. It's a crap leg. Our bag filled up and we'll put the oxygen on it just to help his breathing. We've got an airway in there to help. Once we've done that, Guys with the heavy equipment just arriving. Uh, looks like somebody did a good job there. Quite a good exercise, so we're just going to pack up and 